Hello everyone. This is the continuation of video series on biochemistry case study. And today we are going to discuss a study on Pelagra. So before going in the detail, if you want to download lecture notes, if you want to give online quiz, and if you want to have one-to-one -one interaction with the faculty, then download the Nexus app. Link for the downloading the app is given in the description. So let's start. So the case description is 35 year old poor farmer on irregular diet presents with the history of frequent diarrhea and dry scaly lesions around the neck for past two months. On examination, he was found to have characteristic lesions around the neck and dorsum of the hand. Lesions were itchy, especially on exposure to the sun. He grows maize and gives the history of excess maize consumption for the past 10 years. So that is the description. And along with the description, these are the some images which are given for the case. Fine. So in the case, you can see there is a there is a presence of dry, itchy, scaly lesions on the dorsum of the hand. There is also presence of hyperpigmentation around the neck area. Fine. So now let's see the questions of this case study. The first question is, what is the diagnosis in ABO case? Name the vitamin deficiency which may be associated with ABO symptoms. From the description, we can have idea that patient is having diarrhea. There is also presence of dry, itchy, scaly lesions around the neck and dorsum of the hands. And another hint which is given in the description is patient is consuming maize from the last 10 years. So from all these hints, we can say that patient is having pelagra which occurs due to the deficiency of niacin which is a vitamin B3. And this pelagra is characterized by three Ds that is diarrhea, dermatitis and dementia. So this is the case of Pelagra which occurs due to the deficiency of vitamin B3 and it is characterized by three Ds that is diarrhea, dermatitis and dementia. So that is the answer of the first question. Second question is what is the name given to the characteristic lesion observed around the neck and on hand of the individual? So the characteristic lesion which is observed around the neck is known as a Kajal's necklace. Fine, it is known as a Kajal's necklace. And the dry, itchy, erythematous scaly lesions on the hand is known as a load hand dermatitis. So this is the picture which is showing the dry, itchy, erythematous skin lesions seen on the dorsum of the hand which is known as the load hand dermatitis. And this is the hyperpigmentation which is seen around the neck. And this uh, erythematous skin lesions have a characteristic feature that they are bilateral and symmetrical. And they affect mostly the sun exposed part fine and they are photosensitive so that is regarding the skin lesions which is seen dorsum of the hand which is known as the glowed hand dermatitis and the lesion which is seen around the neck is known as a casual's necklace third question is which amino acid may synthesize nicotinic acid in vivo in the cell so one amino acid, it helps in the synthesis of vitamin B3 that is niacin is the tryptophan via kinorenin pathway and the enzyme required for the kinorenin pathway is kinorenase. Fine, so that is the answer. Tryptophan is an amino acid which may produce nicotinic acid in a vitamin B3 requiring pathway known as a kinorenin pathway and tryptophan is evidently found in legumes, fish and meat. And this kinorenase enzyme require PLP. PLP is the active coenzyme of vitamin B6. Fine. And 60 mg of tryptophan give rise to the 1 mg of niacin. So that is the answer of this question. Fourth question is, is the dependency of maize as a stepper diet may be cause of this presentation? If yes, then why? Yes, the, if the patient is having on the stepper diet, that is maize, Maize contain very low amount of tryptophan. Fine, it contains very low amount of tryptophan. So, there will be very less conversion of tryptophan to the niacin. And maize also contain niacin, but niacin is present in the bound form, which is known as a niacetate. 
hence it is not available for the absorption so that is the reason for the deficiency of vitamin b3 along with the maize if the person person is having staple diet as a jowar fine jowar or sorghum then this jowar or sorghum it contains high amount of the leucine and this leucine will also inhibit the conversion of tryptophan to the niacin via kynurenin pathway fine hence it reduces the production of niacin so and pellagra which occurs due to the consumption of this jowar is known as the leucine pellagra because it contains high amount of the leucine that is the answer of this fourth question the fifth question is enlist the causes or conditions when patient may have pellagra or pellagra like features so the one condition we have already seen that is niacin deficiency vitamin b3 deficiency then second condition is if the staple diet is maize or corn third condition if the staple diet is the jowar or sorghum fourth condition is if there is a deficiency of vitamin b6 that is plb deficiency so the kynurenin is enzyme will not be able to convert tryptophan to the niacin and fifth is the hartnup disease these are the causes of pellagra or pellagra like features the last question is what is the treatment of this disease so the treatment of this disease is the oral supplementation of vitamin b3 in the dose of 30 mg twice daily so that is the treatment of pellagra which occurs due to the deficiency of vitamin b3 which is also known as the niacin thank you for watching thank you